Alright, welcome back to Audio Describe Gaming. I'm your host, Matt. I'm trying to find some more of these cuckoos. So, let me think if there's anything that I need to do. What? What is it, Navi? Oh, yeah, there are more songs that I need to learn. Okay. Hmm. So there's a house here with a back door. Let me see if I can go behind it. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can... So there's a tower here in the middle of the village. I think maybe there's a cuckoo up there and I can use it to get down. No, no cuckoos up here. Oh, yeah, I can't even do anything with this place. Alright. What can I do? I may just do the side quest later. There's a few other side quests I can do that aren't as, uh... That aren't as bad. Hang on. I'll go in this building and see if there's anything. Just a couple houses and stuff. Oh, there's a lady here. Hi, boy. Is this the first time you visited this village? A great woman, Impa, opened up this village to us poor folk. Well, make yourself at home. The food isn't ready yet, though. Okay. And there's nothing else in here. Hey, Cuckoo. Let me pick you up. Oh, sweet, I did get to the other side. Okay. Heh, to get to the other side. Chicken. Okay. But yeah, so I can get this other chicken. Hang on. Alright. These should be the last of the chickens here. But I'll check here real quick. There's a ladder. Oh yeah, no, there is another chicken. And then that should be it. Alright. Come over here. So I know they're not chickens, they're cuckoos, but whatever. They're, they're still chickens. There's nothing different about them uh, and actual chickens. Alright, let's put these chickens in the coop. Maybe I can get some kind of reward. Alright, let me get these last two. Alright, one more. Where'd that last chicken go? Ah, oh, here it is. That should be all of them. Please don't let there be one I missed. Oh, hey, I got it. My cuckoos have run away. Oh, oh, okay, so she's saying there's one more. Well, either way, I got most of them. Well, I'm gonna go learn a couple new songs. Might as well. I can learn one new one in this video.
All right, so there's a graveyard here, and this is kind of a big deal. What does it say here? Rest in peace. Here lie the souls of those who swore fealty to the royal family of Hyrule. The Sheikah, guardians of the royal family and founders of Kakariko, watch over these spirits in their eternal slumber. There's a little kid here strutting around. Little kids can't go on the heart-pounding grave-digging tour described on the sign. Since I can't do that, I'm just imitating Dompe the Gravekeeper all day. But with my cute face, I'm not heart-pounding at all, am I? Yeah, the little kid wants to be a grave digger. Alright, so the big gravestone way here at the top is the one that I care about. Let's see what it says. Royal Family's Tomb. Alright, so there's two graves here. Royal Composer Brothers Sharp the Elder. Oh, it's a ghost. Alright. So, one of these Composer Brothers turned into a ghost. I have to attack him now. So they disappear, except for their lantern, which they still kind of throw around. Alright, so the lantern turned into a ghost, let's see. Yeah, you killed me! Unbelievable! Oh, what? You're not one of Ganondorf's men, are you? Because of my role as a ghost, I had to act like that. I apologize. Now then, let me introduce myself. Ahem. <clears throat> I am one of the ghostly composer brothers of Kakariko Village. All the people in this village are born to serve the royal family of Hyrule. We brothers also serve the royal family and were assigned to study the hereditary mystic powers of the family. Though we never could figure out the power of the Triforce, we had almost completed our study of controlling time with the tones of ocarinas. Uh, I mean, actually, we did complete that study. We would have been famous if that hateful Ganondorf had not tried to steal our results. We could never let him reap the fruits of our research. That's why we gave our lives to protect the secret. Do you want to hear what I said again, though? Let's see, there's another brother here, too. Flat the Younger. These guys are kind of tough. Dead again! What? You again? Somehow you remind me of Princess Zelda. Hmm. Since you may have some connection with the royal family, I will tell you a little more of our tale. Back then, people called us great composers because of the many musical masterpieces we wrote. But we brothers were not just composers. We had a mission to analyze the mysterious powers of Hyrule's royal family. Our names would be a part of Hyrule's history if we could complete our research. We kept our study extremely secret until we completed it. To tell the truth, each of us was studying a different song, one to summon the sun and another to summon the moon. If you were really sent by a member of the royal family, I will tell you about the results of our study. We inscribed it on the royal tombstone. As a messenger of the royal family, you should show your royal credentials on top of the Triforce mark. Alright, so I'm going to play Zelda's Lullaby in front of this grave right here, because there's a Triforce symbol. Seems like the thing to do. Alright, let's do it. Whoops. Fat-fingered it. So it's starting to get a little cloudy and thundery here, more so than it was before. A 
big ball of light just appeared in front of the royal family's gravestone, and the gravestone exploded, and there's a um, little hole now where it was. Alright, let's take it. So now I am in the royal family's grave. There's bats here. Not really a big deal, whatever. Bats. I got him. There's a skull here. Shine light on the living dead. That's what it says. Alright, so killing all the bats opened up a door. So there's a big ledge with runes on it. And the door is a big metal door with runes on it. There's bones and skeletons everywhere. So I'm in the next chamber and there's like some kind of poisonous green liquid on the ground. And there's zombies. So these things are creepy. If they look at you, yep, they, if they look at you, they immobilize you and they can they can just grab onto you and suck your life force out. You gotta hit them a bunch of times to kill them. So I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna keep going. Alright, so there's some kind of runes on a wall here with some torches and a Triforce symbol. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising sun will eventually set, a newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun, give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something is inscribed on the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the Composer Brothers. So this is the melody that they use to try and control the sun and moon. So it's called the Sun Song, and it changes day to night and night to day again. It's pretty useful. Uh, it can also freeze zombies, which is awesome. So now I can go back the way I came. Restless souls wander where they don't belong. Bring them calm with the Sun Song. So now, before I go to Death Mountain, there are two more songs that I can learn. I can go back to the ranch, uh, and I can also go to... Oop, hang on, I'm going to play the Sun Song to immobilize these guys. Yeah, so I can freeze the zombies. There they go. Oop, I accidentally fell into some of that green goo. Yeah. So yeah, before I go up Death Mountain, I'm going to try and learn two more songs. I'm getting to the end of my video here. Oh, it's nighttime. Pretty cool. There's one more thing that I can do here. Oh, Dompe the Gravekeeper's here. Let me see if I can move these graves. Yep. So I can move these gravestones without him freaking out. So there's one with flowers on it, and that's a secret entrance. And I can just go in this treasure chest here. And I just got a Hylian shield, which is like this big metal shield. On Kid Link, uh, it only covers his back, like it's too heavy for him to lift. So he just kind of like armadillos with it, and it protects his back when he crouches. Still really useful to have. My kitties are starting to beg. Yeah, it's good. Oh, there's a Skulchula now, since it's nighttime. Oh, there it is. Got it. Let's 
see, there's a tree here. And a sculptula. Sweet. There's a guy here under the tree. People are disgusting. My own father and mother are disgusting. You must be disgusting, too. Alright, well... Sure. Alright, I will see you guys later.